and welcome to episode 5 of series 3 of Become a Legend Story Mode. And uh, we've got some big games today. So first up is against Club Bruges. They are a three and a half star rated teams. So they're a lot better than Waslin Beveren. Uh, they're in fourth at the moment. They've won three, drawn one, lost two. And then we're up against Ghent who are in ninth. They're three star rated. I reckon these are both going to be very difficult games. Eggy is starting in this first game. Before we get into it, uh, we forgot to go and choose our skill training. This went to the Patreon vote. And out of the four options available, the uh, the two that were uh, on even selection, which means I'm going to make the final vote, were long range drive and one touch passing. Now they're both good. I think they would both be very useful, but you know, we, we want goals. It's probably the wrong choice. No, one touch passing is the right, it's the sensible choice. We'll go with that one. Uh, and then I think we will give just a little bit out of speed and a little bit out of passing and one off stamina just to try and move that along. So I think that would really improve. Uh, his ability to uh, link up with the strikers, with the wingers. And uh, quick passing is very important this year to get closed down so quickly. So with that out of the way, let's get into the first game. Now, a lot of you noticed at the end of the last episode that we've had a managerial change at Waslan Beveren. This was a shock, I have to say. Yannick Ferreira, you would think he's had a pretty good start to the season. I think we're in seventh place at the moment. We've started well, there's no doubt about it. But he got the chop. And it's Card Ecclesia coming in now. Carla Kleesia, not a real manager, as far as I'm aware. But that is an Icelandic name, so we're going to assume this is a new manager coming in from Iceland. Obviously, they've got a great setup in Iceland. A lot of uh, well-trained coaches there, especially in relation to the population size. So it's going to be interesting to see how the new manager reacts to Eggy. He's given him a start today, which is very positive. Why was Yannick Ferreira let go? Well, I don't want to uh, cast any aspersions over the man. But uh, you've got to look at maybe the Eggy transfer of being a little bit dodgy. There were a lot of big clubs in for him, but he decided to go to Belgium to not a particularly good side. Some might say he wanted starts, but others could say there was a bit of Sam Allardyce bung work going on here. And potentially Yannick Ferreira pocketing a bit of the uh, bit of the cash in that deal. And that has maybe come to light recently. Obviously shirt sales with his huge following is, uh, is something that to take into account with Eggy as a new signing. So maybe he was involved in that. Let's not let's not bother ourselves with that. I'm sure Eggy won't be. He's all about the football. Run a sideways arrow today. We are behind Forte and Poma to our left-hand side. Can we uh, can we have a good performance to start this episode off? Let's hope so. So I had a good comment from commenter Little Dragon, and uh, he said you're running around too much. Well, actually, a lot of you have said that, and that may well be true. We probably are guilty of that, trying to get into shooting positions too much. He suggested we try and play like Kevin De Bruyne. I think that is excellent advice. We'll try and link up play a bit more, try and be a little bit more pivotal uh, in the centre of the pitch rather than bombing on the whole time. Just taking our chances when we need to, but generally being a little bit more conservative. And Club Bruges here, starting off a minute and a half in with a corner, and it's going to be Vorma to whip this one in with his right foot. The outswinger. It's a dangerous one. That's well away, though. And Eggy gets to it. His pass just about finds Forte. And then back into him here, finds Ampoma. We've got a bomb on here, and Poma lays it back out to Eggy. No one here with him. Oh, that's a lovely turn. Oh, and he just sneaks the ball in. Forte. One ball into Eggy. Throw on goal. Oh, the square ball. The square ball was on. You're all going to be absolutely furious with me there, and I am furious with myself too. It was an incredible counter-attack. Beautiful work. Just a little glance up, and he would have seen his teammate coming in. Shot from a difficult angle. That is a waste. We will have a corner here, though. Eggy flights it up to the far post, looking for Forte. He gets a header to it of sorts, but it is cleared. Eggy edge of the box. Oh, that's cheeky. Out of his feet. Good hit. <laughs> Just swung a foot at it. He is full of confidence already in this game. And this was nice. Just invited the number five towards him. See you later. Out of the feet. Good hit. Just wide. Two shots already for Eggy. Only five minutes in. Surely a goal. It's got to come. Vanekem. Back out to Rafalov. Dangerous ball in. Yossin gets ahead of his man. And that is some finish from the number 31. And, uh, well, all the promising play from Eggy. It's now just a distant memory. As Club Brew show their quality here. What a ball in. Oh, what is the 23 doing? He just backed off. Oh, Eggy intercepts well. And now he's off. Oh, is that a nutmeg? It's a foul. And it was a nutmeg. And that is... Uh, see that again? Megs! Oh, he's taken out the number 25. Not happy with that. He's making a bit of a fool of him so far. 
Oh, and we're caught out down the line here again, and Cools will get to it ahead of the Beveren defender. Looks to stand him up. Oh, that's a dangerous ball. Vossen at the near post. Looking very dangerous. Balls in from the wings. Oh, dangerous ball into Vossen. Great first touch, great finish, and they double their lead here. And that is not what we needed. It's poor passing. Just giving the ball away way too easily. And that's a great run from Vossen. The first touch is brilliant. And the finish is unerring. And that is not a good start. Another corner here for Eggy. Whips it in. It's a good area. Oof. No one can get to it. Did just spot as well that uh, they've switched to tight marking of Eggy. Long ball looking for Forte. Eggy trying to back him up. Oh, Forte looks to take it down on the chest. We lose possession again. We can't keep hold of it. And now they've got men in the box. Cools now. Lovely ball up to the far post. Falls to raffle off. Back inside. It is dealt with. But that's going to be half time here. Ah, gutted. Well, a couple of chances did fall to Eggy early on. But that has been absolutely it for Wazen Beveren. Club Bruges have showed their class. They're difficult to break down. We're just giving the ball away far too easily. Uh, Eggy could have squared it, I guess, in the first opportunity. And the shot from outside the box would have been better on target, obviously. But again, flashes of brilliance. We just need that end product. Eggy lays it off. Oh, can't quite get it back to him. He does. Oh, tries to step inside. Not a foul. Okay. That's not a good ball, is it? Come on. Oh, dear. That's nice. First time ball. Looking for Eggy. Oh, that's good defending. Really good defending. Just to prevent us taking it down in the area. And unfortunately, that is going to be Eggy's last chance of the game. And another disappointing 65 minutes for Eggy. We really tried to manage our fatigue in that one, but he's just too tired. Has a lot of ground to make up in that attacking midfield role. Had chances early on, couldn't take them. And uh, made a lot of mistakes in that game. Deary me, slow progress. Oh, and Vanzo does eventually get one back, but surely too little too late here. The travelling Beveren fans, very pleased with that. Second half substitute Vanzo getting on the end of a very nice passage of play. It's an emphatic finish from him. That's a lovely ball. Lovely turn. Finish, but surely too little too late. And it was little more than a consolation goal. It's unfortunately Waz and Beveren are beaten 2-1 here in Bruges. And that's just not good enough. And Eggy again with a very difficult game. So much brilliance. So much flair. Obvious attacking potential. But then just maybe issues... As I said, with the with the final product, with the last decision, the final most important decision, um, the glaring one was the uh, opportunity to cut it across to his teammate after he'd done all the good work in the counter-attack. Just didn't quite have the vision for it. We weren't De Bruyne enough there, and that's what we were trying for. But hopefully, hopefully we're a regular starter now because we need the minutes. Still 10th in the league, that's fine. That's fine. It's only our second loss of the season. We are up to 71% manager trust now, which should be. Should be guaranteed starts. Our attacking prowess and explosive power have just increased. Alongside our finishing, which is now up to 72. We've just got to repay the great training that we've put in with some good performances on the pitch. Four days later. Home to Ghent. Please be a start. We are starting. Let's get straight into it. Please be good form today. Please be good form. It's an upward arrow. This is it. Come on. Up against a pretty strong looking defence. Actually, that, that could be an issue. Uh, 72 plus for all of their defensive players. And two defensive midfielders as well. And they look like big guys. Big, big guys. We're going to need support. We've got Forte ahead of us again. And Poma's been struggling for form. Which is a shame because he looked to be one of our better players. He's so quick but he doesn't seem to use that pace very effectively. And he's a very poor passer as well. Right, let's go. So I know a lot of you enjoyed taking a look at Eggy's first house. You'll be happy to know that he has moved in to the flat in Antwerp. It's all signed and sealed, and he's very happy there. It's a short commute to Beveren, but uh, I think it's worth it to be in the uh, heart of such a beautiful city. Uh, but some of you also asked, what car would Eggy be driving? That's an interesting question. I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. I know in uh, in Indonesia, those parts of Asia, the Japanese car companies are in, uh, in high demand, so perhaps a Honda? I'm a Honda fan, personally. Not exciting, but very reliable. And uh, that's what we want from Eggy at the moment, actually. We want him to be reliable. So let me know in the comments which car you think he might be getting. And this is not looking good to start off the game. Oh my god, it's off the bar. Anyway, let me know in the comments which car Eggy might get. And uh, we'll see if we can sort that one out. Ball into Eggy here. And Poma, you've got to make the run. 
It's nicely worked to find the left back though. He's got Impoma inside him. Goes back into Eggy. He didn't want it there, but he's found Ampoma. Hit it. Forte. Oh, the back heel into Eggy. It's in the wrong place. You've got to hit that one. No. It was a nice idea. We weren't calling for it, though. Oh, lovely touch. Slips it through. He's made the run. Where's the ball? Oh, there's air ball. Oh, there's a ball. Not the right ball. That was gutting, though. That back heel into Eggy. Just a little bit off. Good work there again from Eggy. Oh, and that is some finish. <laughs> wow. I thought that was way too far away for an effort to even be considered. It's a great counter-attack here. But he's really hit this one. I'm sure I remember saying the uh, AI doesn't score from outside the box. Well, that is an absolute cracker. And we're behind again here. Beveren's woes continue. Throw it into Eggy. Moves it on, and Poma lays it off to Forte, and that's lovely work. Really flowing football there. And it's Forte again with the back heel assist that he tried on Eggy earlier. Smart work from here from Eggy, just holding it up, drawing a defender out. Oh, it's two back heels, lovely stuff. And we're back in this. Oh, I don't know if that was for us, but Eggy takes it with a very good bit of control. Forte lays it off, Eggy into the box. On his right foot here, oh, it's a good save to prevent. Eggy getting a much-needed goal. And once again, the link-up with Forte, really nice. Forte knew exactly where he was going to be, perfectly weighted. Eggy took it on the run. Hit it this time with his weaker foot, forced a good save. And now we'll take the corner here. Can we go ahead? Another assist for Eggy would be nice. It's into a good area. Keeper comes and punches away. Oh, we can't get it away here. Oh, my God. No. Very poor defending. Very poor defending from Eggy. You just couldn't get to it. <laughs> just wouldn't fall for him. The shot on the turn is blocked. And then another shot on the turn. Beats the keeper. And that's half time here in Beveren. And it's not great. It's not great. Eggy did have a good chance. But then he absolutely blew all of that good work with some just nothing defending. Just watch the ball. Not good enough. We need to make amends for everything we've ever done in this second half. Come on, this is huge. Oh no, Ghent coming forward again. Simple ball in is dealt with. And now we can break here. That is some pass. Eggy moves it wide. Now Forte. Ball into Eggy. It's not what we wanted. Oh, looking for the cheeky back kill into Ampoma. Doesn't pull it off. Ball into the box here though. Can't find Eggy. Oh, he's still full of confidence. It's just not quite working. Oh, nice work from Eggy here. Can you find the ball into Vaz? Oh, better, but still just missing. Final touch of class. And our race is almost run here again, and it's going to be an absolute zero in the stat line once again for Eggy Milana. Just isn't good enough. And that is it again. Pff, barely making 70 minutes this time. And, uh, well, I've, I've got to apologise to everyone watching this. He deserves better. We're just not performing yet. What I would say is patience. Have patience. We will find our form. We haven't found it yet, but it will come. I can guarantee it. We just need to uh, keep working hard on the training pitch. Keep making the runs. Keep doing the right things. He's doing the right things. Just not always doing the right thing after that first right thing. But it'll come. And that's it. And there's a, a few boos from the Beveren fans. They're not happy. Their good start to the season seems to be coming to a dramatic end. With two losses in a row. I mean, they were two good sides that we came up against in this episode. And we did okay. We matched them for possession. We matched them for shots on target. We just didn't quite have the uh, the finishing touch that was necessary. Eggy with another not so great game. Oh, it's difficult, isn't it? It's really hard. Is it good to be a promising young player in an underperforming side? You get more chances. But also that does mean that the players around you are of a lower quality. And we know Waslin Beveren are a very low rated team. Um, 11th position is probably about where they should be. Uh, but we are hemorrhaging goals now after a fairly solid start. And Eggy is, uh, I'd say he's almost struggling. He is almost struggling. At least he does seem to be in the uh, new manager's good books. He seems to be a regular starter. It'll come though. The good performances will definitely come. And the matches are stacking up. Well, in only three days we will be starting the next game. But I'm afraid that's going to be in the next episode. I might actually play this next game just to keep things moving along. And then we might have Anderlecht and uh, Sporting Charleroi in the next episode. I do sometimes play a few games in between episodes just to keep the series progressing a bit quicker. 
So we might have some highlights in the next one, but bear with me, please. And in many ways, I'm sorry, but in other ways, this is what it's like watching a young player trying to break onto the scene. He's not going to perform in every game. He's showing, as I've said a million times, flashes of greatness. But the overall greatness, well, that's still a long way away, but hopefully you'll join me for the journey because I think it'll be a good one and I think it'll be worth it. So I'll see you in a bit.